It's the search for Britain's blooming best florist. Four local artisan florists from across the UK will be taking on floral design challenges designed to test their creativity and technical know-how. So far, they've created peony perfection, wedding wonders and feel-good flowers. And now it's the grand final. Picking our champion are the people who know flowers and style inside out. Florist to the stars, Simon Lysit. Interior designer, Eva Shanaike and Karen Barnes, an international weddings and events florist and top floristry judge. This is the final, so show us what you've got. But they won't be the only ones judging. At the end of the show, you'll get a chance to have your say on Instagram. It's time to celebrate artisan floristry on the high street. Welcome to the final of Interflora's Great British Bloom Off. My name's Simon Lysett. I have a London-based events floristry business creating floral fabulousness around the world. I'm looking forward to seeing what these Interflora florists can show us, some amazing arranging. Welcome to the final Bloom Off. This is a real worthy Bloom Off challenge. We'd like to see what you bring to the table with this inspirational tablescape. Tablescaping is a huge trend right now. It's the art of setting a table in the most creative and extreme way with accessories, colour and everything you can imagine. There are no rules to it, just be bold and extreme. Now that we can socialise again, we want to spoil one another and ourselves. And tablescaping is a wonderful way to bring floral fabulousness for all. So Floris, you've got one hour, 20 minutes to show us your table showstopper. As ever, we will be looking closely at your creativity and originality, your use of colour and your design. This is the final, so show us what you've got. But as ever, we'll be checking your technical skills. So this is your last challenge, good luck. So Floris, let the blooms begin. This is an amazing opportunity for these four florists and an opportunity for us to see something very creative. Yes. So what do we think we want to see in this tablescape? I think as tablescaping, I want to be wowed. I really want to see something which is creative, which uses accessories, color, texture, but it's also practical. I want to have something that forwards the conversation of being a creative, being a florist. I feel we've seen almost everything, yeah. so wow us. And tablescapes are very on trend, very. very on trend, because they can suit any budget. So if as a client you, you have limitless money to spend on it to make an impression, but on the other hand, if you just want to have a low key event or just a dinner table for two, your budget doesn't have to be out of this world to create something truly gorgeous. I want some fragrance that's not going to overpower, yeah, but I also beautiful. want something that feels interesting texturally. Yes. I want it to become part of the story of the evening, yes. and I don't want my guests to walk away remembering any one element. I want them to remember the whole, the whole of it as being a very cohesive yes. story. Yes. Hello Charlotte, Hello. how are you I'm today? I'm good, I'm good, I'm feeling good about this one. Tablescaping is my favourite theme and my favourite topic. I'm really excited Same. what you've got in store for us today. I see loads of pinks, I see peonies again, like mm -hmm. in the first week. I see these beautiful ombre um, candles. So tell me more about your inspiration, what's going on here? So I'm going for a nice long runner that's going to cascade off the end of the table. Oh, so it's all very romantic and soft and just cosy but without being too everywhere just yes. a nice nice central tablescape and color wise you've been kept it quite feminine yes what are, what's it, the color scheme on the table and um, so i've gone for a nice like sagey mint green um like rattan charger plate with yes. soft pinks and then tying it with the white so everything should complement each other what's the challenge um in in bringing the practical and the aesthetic together because i think tablescapes have to combine both quite i mean they have to look you know extravagant yeah. and you know out of you know proportion but at the same time it has to be very practical yeah. so what what is the challenge for I'm you as a florist trying to, to be really mindful that i'm not going to go too high with yeah. my flower really but important. create little pockets that you can kind of see through and 
catch little glimpses through, like, you know, when the candles are lighting. So I'm trying not to go too high. I'm trying to imagine yeah. myself sat at the table, which is probably about, the, <laughs> about this height, yeah. and just keep a nice soft flow. Yeah, that's, that's important. I think we still want to communicate, we yeah. still want to see, you know, the people we're sitting opposite. So I think it's a great, great aspect. I'm really excited to see that finished. I love the colour scheme. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Hi, Simon. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Tell oh. me about the tablescaping. Um, I want oh. to go really big and bold mm. um, because I think having people around is all about having fun. Yes. And I'm a bit of a party animal. I can at tell. Heart. <laughs> so I'm going to go really tropical, very sea themed. Um, ocean, I love the ocean. You look like you've made your own party animals. I have. <laughs> These are great. Tell me what they are. Well, they are my sea anemones. They are beautiful. And they are then a I've thing made some in other colours. So I've got pink ones. Okay. And I've made some orange. So I'm going bold, bright, fun, and very tropical and sea based. There's a lot of stuff on your table, but. We are a flower competition as well, and there's about 20 leaves in a block of flower yep. foam. And only about an hour and a bit left, so when I'll be am fine. I going to see flower? In about 20 minutes, this will be made. I cannot wait. What's <laughs> on the menu? It looks like we're going to have a delicious cocktail you are. as well. So I Lots can't of wait. jelly sweets. I might nick a slice you of watermelon. You can eat that now if you like. <laughs> um, I'll see you later. Okay, see you later. Hello, Erica. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, all good, thank good. you. This looks amazing. Oh, thank you. What a beautiful colour palette. Yeah. And the eye to detail is just exquisite. Yes. And I'm not even looking at the flowers <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, I'm just oh, no, looking I need at to, the table. I need to flower it up a bit. It's just beautiful. <laughs> so, I see you've got these gorgeous vases, mm. these containers. Are they ceramic? Yeah, they're a ceramic container, like a ceramic vase, but I've just wedged a bit of oasis in the top yes. there. This is the olive, yes, olive, olive branches. Yeah. It's all looking fabulous, I have to say. Yeah, so. if you would come to dinner at mine, this is what you would get pretty much. This is me on a table. Yeah, just for Saturday evening. Just for a Saturday evening, <laughs> obviously. Well, I can't wait, so good luck with this. Cool, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hello, Mike. Talk me yeah. through your choice of plant material. I've tried to keep it as tropical as I can. Um, and just my like hot colours, red cerise, lime, hot, hot, hot. We can't go away, so we'll just have to have Antigua at our table. Okay, so that's <laughs> the story. But and yeah. is this instinctively your style, the type of work that no. you create for your <laughs> No. <laughs> it's, I, I do whatever. As yeah. long as there's room for the bowl of sprouts and the roast beef or whatever Quite. you're choosing yeah. to have. Yeah. <laughs> There's absolutely no excuse and it's a great way to, to enjoy some fun and to feast with your eyes. Yes, totally. Yeah. Well, I look forward to sitting at your table later on and I can't wait to see what you serve us. Thank you very much. See you later, Thank you. Mike. Floris, you have five minutes left. Five minutes. Floris, your time is up. Please reveal your tablescapes. So, judges, what do we have in front of us this time? I love the colour combination. Charlotte has created something really sophisticated, in my opinion. And matches my outfit. Oh, yes. Is rather oh, yes. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. I love the fact that you have used one of my favourite flowers, which is mm. Sandra Sonia, which is just dropping in there, mm. those cheeky little orange pops. Yes. Just stop it going too saccharine and yes. for me they're just taking it out of weddings and yes. into just a joyful explosion. One other thing is the height, I absolutely love the height of the flowers yes. because you can sit opposite each other, you can look into each other's eyes and have a conversation I think mm. that's what it yeah. all um, comes down to when you have a dinner party. Yeah. So Lovely. beautiful piece, well done Charlotte. So judges, what do we think to this tropical extravaganza? Extravaganza it is, it's really full-on, opulent, colour clashing. It's a feast, isn't it? It's absolutely feast, feast for 
every single sense. And when I checked in with Jo, she did say that she wanted us to go off on a fabulous foreign holiday and boy, she served that up with yeah. spades. I mean, the detail that is there, we have yes. pineapples, we have coconuts, we have orchids, we have sweets in the tumblers. The little cocktail I of know. sweets are, and they're delicious and they match my suit again, which oh, is really you, you should better eat one. Oh, no, one. <laughs> if you're sitting in a dinner setting, I would have problems communicating with you through here, potentially. I would almost argue that it's a dinner arrangement for a party rather than... A a, it's a tough table call, scale. tablescape, dinner arrangement yes. for a party. It feels so abundant and joyous. Yes. But I'd almost be overwhelmed if I walked into someone's home and this was on the dinner table. Oh, yes. Definitely. Oh, yes. However, I tuck into what's yes. in this cocktail exactly. bar. In fact, I'm <laughs> yes. having another. <laughs> I'm going to have I'm one, have to try well. one as well. No, jolly good. Mm. So, cheers, Joe. Well done. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> Judges, what's your thought? How hot is this? Well, when I spoke to Mike, he said he was going to take us on a hot holiday because we possibly might not get to do that ourselves this year. Well, he certainly served that up. Oh, yes, we're definitely in the, in, the, in the warm climate, I can tell. What an incredible mm. assortment of yes. colours. Yes. It's certainly... We wanted an uplifting arrangement, a tablescape that was yeah. a joy to sit at, and this is certainly joyous to sit at. It is, it is beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's a tropical feast. I mean, it's a feast for the eyes, it's a feast for the senses. I would have loved to have seen perhaps an element that I've not seen before. I feel I've seen this style and I would have loved it to have been a cheeky surprise somewhere that just took me on a new journey, but I think it's showcasing incredibly competent floristry oh, yes. skills, immaculate use of plant material, yeah. and a great sense of colour and texture and Absolutely. tone. Absolutely. Creative thinking, yes. I think, as well. Yeah. It's yeah. all in there. Well, judges, here we are about to have dinner with Erica. What do we think? I'm normally a person who likes colour, who likes bold kind of colour combinations, but I really love this. I really, really love the subtleness. It has a boho feel to it. It does. It has a very kind of Ibiza. And I love how the eye goes to these beautiful cafe au lait mm -hmm. dahlias. Yes. They are stunning. They almost don't look real. Erica is obviously clearly demonstrating to us that she gets and knows about a tablescape. Yes. Because this is just such a lovely dressing of a table in all its entity. It's beautifully done with exquisite plant Absolutely. material. Absolutely. The attention to detail. It's almost theatre. Yes. The table. The theatre. And I think that's what it's all about. I think yes. it's a combination of yeah. the floristry is really important, but I yes. think also the whole creation of a story. And I can really yes. see a story here. I love these little retro wine glasses yes. with the, you know, kind of um, rich stem. I love the textures of the glasses. There is fascinating plant yes. material combined with a really carefully curated yes. assortment of table pieces. Of table yes. Pieces, yeah. Yeah. So well done, Erica. The judges must now score each florist and decide a winner for this week's challenge and who will take the bloom off crown. After much deliberation, we have a winner. And the winner is... Charlotte. Charlotte, your tablescape was flawlessly executed using exquisite, nuanced plant material in an original and creative way. Congratulations. And can I congratulate all four of you? You are incredible ambassadors for your craft. I'm going to get quite emotional as I say this. I think each one of you is brilliant at bringing what you have done and demonstrating that up and down the country there are hundreds of amazing creatives, artisan florists like all of you, and you should all be congratulated. So well done, all of you. Well done. Of course, that's not the only winner we're deciding today. Only one florist can take the Great British Bloom off crown. We have looked how the florists have done over the last four weeks. We have reviewed the scores, we have argued a little bit, and now we have one final winner. So the winner of the Interflora Great British Bloom Off is... Charlotte.
Charlotte, congratulations. Eva, Karen and I have had such a difficult job. It has literally been splitting hairs every step of the way, deciding who of you is our Interflora champion. And it's you, congratulations. I can't believe I won. It's amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. Winning has been amazing. It's, it means a lot to me. It's brilliant. This is what we live for is like competitive florists. Um, it's been the best experience. It's been so enjoyable, so fun. Everyone's amazing. We've just got to be being able to be free and creative and just think outside the box, do what we want. It's been amazing. It's actually been super lush. I've loved it. And that's that. And remember, if you need gorgeous blooms, choose Artisan and let's champion the high street florist. Do you agree with the judges? Have your say on Instagram and you could win a one of a kind bouquet handcrafted by an artisan florist on a high street near you.